So many people wanted to pay their respects to the youngest victim of the bombings. Amen. Amen. They had to move the vigil from Martin Richards' church to his local park. Children stopped playing to pray for the eight-year-old who died on Sunday after watching the marathon with his family, now ripped apart. Martin's mum has serious brain injuries. His younger sister Jane lost a leg in the blast. A photo has emerged of a smiling Martin holding a poster at school. No more hurting people, it says. But his death has left a community in pain. My youngest is seven and plays, played basketball against him and flag football against him. And I just can't imagine what that poor family is going through. I'll say my prayers. I'm just very sorry for them. Across the city, Crystal Campbell's family's grieving too after wrongly believing she had survived the blast. They were told she was in hospital, but in fact her injured friend had been carrying her ID. The reality is too much to bear. He couldn't ask for a better daughter. I can't believe this has happened. She was such a hard worker at everything she did. This doesn't make any sense. As investigators try to find answers, the third victim has been named by Chinese media as Ling Zi Lu. She'd been studying in Boston. Still no one has claimed responsibility for the deadly blast, but the FBI has released some pictures of items found at the scene. Part of a circuit board which may have been used as a detonator. Mangled wires and metal. Batteries. The remains of what looks to be a pressure cooker. Among items partially recovered are pieces of black nylon, which could be from a backpack, and what to be, appear to be fragments of BBs and nails, possibly contained in a pressure cooker device. As doctors work on, fighting to save the lives of more than a dozen still critically ill. Many of them still have breathing tubes, and they're in the ICU, of course. Many of them still need further surgeries. So for the most part, all the patients are progressing but there are, are several who still are, you know, are very seriously ill. It is for them and the three who lost their lives that investigators have vowed to track down the bomber. But two days on, they appear to be no closer.